Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I want to join in the challenge set by Amanda at Scrimping Mommy uh, over on Facebook. Um, she set the challenge, it was Amanda that did the playing cards and I did every week of the playing cards. Um, recently I've uh, fallen behind on the challenges but this week sees a new challenge and it's artist trading cards and this week the theme is circular which I think they might be called artist trading coins, I'm not sure. Um, it's two and a half inches in diameter is the size that they should be and the theme is garden for this week. So I have two pieces of um, watercolour card. It's actually this mixed media, but it does watercolour as well. Um, this is the one I use by and large all the time for them. Um, any stamping, inking to do with water. Um, so yeah. So I have my two pieces here. Um, I, I die cut them using just a circle die. So that's how they turned out. And I'm just going to do some nice um, messy inking on the background and then I'm going to use um, a couple of stamps, three stamps, two flowers and a leaf stamp. And the stamps are from Stampin' Up called Flower Shop. Um, I have had these for many, many, many years. Um, I, I don't think I bought them because uh, at one point I was asked to do magazine commissions and the magazine sent me some Stampin' Up stamp sets to do uh, cards for the magazine. So that's how I've ended up with these. <laughs> and the leaf is from this stamp set called Secret Garden. Um, you might be able to get them. So it's Flower Shop and Secret Garden. You might be able to get them still on eBay or second hand someplace. Um, or any flower stamp, leaf stamp. Probably have a collection of leaves and flowers. So let's get messy and do the backgrounds. I have picked out some inks. I've got these three sets for one and another couple of colours for the other one. Um, so these are Adirondack, um, I've got Cranberry, Pool and Lettuce. And um, these are water soluble. So let's make a background. And I'm just going to take my mat and put down some of that. Some of cranberry, some of the pool. I don't want to touch the cranberry with the pool, end up in a pickle. And let's some of the lettuce. Let's just put that there. Then I'm going to give a squirt. This is just a squirt of water. And let's do that. Let's give it a second to soak up. Mmm, yum. Okay, so that's not as dark as I would like it to be. Let me just get my tweezers because I've already got green inky fingers and I don't really want blue inky fingers. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just let that dry there just now and let's wipe off this and then we can do the other background and I've got butterscotch and terracotta and I'm going to repeat the lettuce. So let's just do the same. In fact, see that little muddy bit there? I'm just going to take that off. There we are. And that was just a little bit too wet as well. There. 
that's better. Okay, let's do the same with terracotta, butterscotch. Mm. I'm getting hungry. All this talk of butterscotch and lettuce <laughs> and lettuce. And the squirt. And here's the circle here. This is super easy, isn't it? Super easy backgrounds. Yeah, that should be soaked up by now. It's always a surprise. Yeah, happy with that. Let's just let that dribble a little bit. And we'll get this mopped up. There we are. So, while they're drying, let's just sit them there just now so that we can keep a wee eye on them. Let's do some stamping. So, we've got our piece of still using the watercolour card even although we're not touching it with water for the moment or not at all <sighs> I still just want to stamp on this because it gives a nice effect so I want two leaves one for each coin or ATC See how it still gives a nice mottled watercolour effect. So if you don't feel confident with colouring in or with watercolouring or any sort of uh, adding colour to your stamping, these solid type stamps are just the job. And I'll do one of each. And I'm going to use the cranberry for the one that we used the cranberry for the, for the background. So that when I put the flower on, it will blend in nicely with the background. And I know you don't get a crisp image, but that's the look that I'm looking for because I want that kind of mottled watercolour y look. And now I'm going to use the terracotta. Let's just give that, that one's drying, that one's drying nicely. Good. Right, so that's all the stamping done. And let's see, we want to fussy cut them. Yeah, no, yes, yes. Let's, let's fussy cut. I won't fussy cut all of them on camera because, oh, that hasn't quite dried, but that's okay. I will fussy cut one flower on camera. And then I will go off and do the rest. So let's just get this fussy cut. So, hello to all my new subscribers. The numbers jumped, my goodness, in the last three days. Lots of new subscribers so hello to everyone I think everyone seemed quite taken by the lollipop sticks the closures that I made using now I know that here they're called lollipop sticks and I know that it's maybe popsicle sticks elsewhere or something different I'm not sure but here we call them lolly sticks <laughs> and so 
It was lovely to get all those uh, new subscribers. Let's just do the other flower and then I'll go and I'll do the leaves. So yeah. So I hope you'll enjoy the channel. And um, yeah, again, very much appreciated to have everyone along in this crafty journey <laughs> so yeah so i'm liz and i live just in the outskirts of glasgow it's about 20 15 20 minutes in the car to the city center and um, yeah i have a husband and a dog a rescue greyhound an ex-racer millie so uh, yeah so that's me and I shall go and I shall be back. Right to who that's um the two sets of the two sets of leaves cut fussy cut out. Um and I just want to finish off the backgrounds now that they're nearly dry. So I'm just going to take the cranberry, which is what I stamped to flower, and just go round the edge. It just makes a little difference if you finish off the edge with one of the darker colours. It just brings the, the circle to life, I think. And so we have the terracotta for this one. just gives the edge of the petals just a little deeper colour. There we are. And we will do the same. I just need to be really careful with the, the leaves because I could just as easily lose a leaf, a leaf off that stem. <laughs> it might not look much on the camera, but it just gives the edge just a little bit. And sometimes if you're fussy cutting, you've maybe left a little bit of the white. And I don't mind that because then you can tell that it's all handmade and stamped. But if you're fussed about having a bit of white, then doing that covers the white. Right, next step, now that we've got that, we want to, now the backgrounds are dry, um, I want to do a little bit of extra stamping. So I've got this um, script stamp which was free with a magazine so I don't have the name or anything and again I'm going to stamp it with the colour of the main colour that I've used for the flower and the background and I'm just going to randomly put that there and maybe we should get rid of that <laughs> and on this one a little bit there and a little bit there there we are so that it all tones in, I've used the same colours. So now we want to see how they're going to look because what I'm going to do is take it to the sewing machine and sew a couple of times round the edges. I am going to snip the two leaves, uh, snip the leaf, 
so that I have two pieces and I can put one piece there and one piece there and I'm going to do the same with this one I'm going to have this one on this side. No, I'm going to have it on the same side. Now, I've got little numbers that I'm going to put in the centre. But again, I'm going to... These are stickers. So I'm just going to do a tiny little bit of ink and just just enough to take away the the creaminess. Number five jumped out of the way, it's like, no, I don't want, I don't want to be inked. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's okay. I think maybe we'll, we'll give number four a little bit more. Ooh. No, too much. Far too much, that was a bad idea. Never, never put your number four straight onto the ink pad. Now let's see if we can salvage that. Well, maybe, it'll maybe dry paler. Maybe. <laughs> what not to do anyway number five is fine number four is slightly dodgy that's not too bad right before I stick all those bits down I am going to take them to the sewing machine if you don't have a machine you can get a black uh, fine or any colour fine liner pen and just draw lots of little dots and dashes around the edge and um, and that's what to do if you don't have a machine but I've got a machine so that's what I'm going to do that's them sewing and if you're not very good like I'm not very good at sewing round a circle is just go round two or three times and that just makes it look a wee bit more arty if you've not gone straight round um, just go over your original one and just make it a proper squiggle. <laughs> okay, let's get these stuck down. There we are, and this one, and I'm just going to go with that four. It's all a bit inky and arty, isn't it? It's not as pale as I would have hoped, but it'll do. Right, so I'm just going to use my print stick and just do that. And let's do some, some gluing. Yeah, so new subscribers and, and that's a little bit about me. Um, we go out and about a lot. Uh, I work part-time, partially retired, uh, so I get I only work Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays in the office and I work from home some of those days as well, so that's quite nice. Um, so we have Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays all to ourselves. And uh, so yesterday, uh, 
we took, it was a lovely day. It was, I wonder if the glue's still working on that because I've absolutely soaked it. And if I don't take this backing off, maybe the four will come off. It's not coming off anyway, so I'm just going to go with it. Yeah, so we went into Glasgow. It was absolutely a glorious day. Um, we went for a coffee first um, in Merchant City, which is a, an area in Glasgow which is nice. It's got lots of bars and restaurants and coffee shops. And um, so we sat there for a bit outside at the tables outside. And um, there was lots of visitors yesterday in Glasgow. I don't know if the people have started to travel. So there was lots of nice accents and nice voices to hear. The table behind us, I think they were Italian. And then we moved away from there and we went for pizza um, in the city centre. And we were sitting outside again and there was quite a lot of people, passers-by and Millie was lying on her blanket hoping to get some pizza crust. And um, yeah, so we spoke to a German couple um, they had a whippet at home and so we spoke to them for a few minutes right now that's them done and I'm going to stick them into the book that I used for my playing card challenge um, yeah because there's still quite a few pages left so the playing card challenge was great fun Love doing that. Love that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got the page ready. Garden, 16th of June. And I did one uh, off camera before the video because I wanted just to have a go and get tuned in to what I was doing. So I've got number three, number four, and number five. Oops, that's not sticking because, you know, it's still a bit wet. I might need to use the other glue. That'll be it now. Maybe I didn't put glue on it. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, so we um we spoke to the German couple and they had a whip it. And then we spoke to an American family who were here on a tour. And um they had five dogs at home and the man, oh, I could tell he was getting quite emotional. He's like, oh, I'm missing them so much. Mm -hmm. So that was nice to speak to some of the visitors. They were enjoying Scotland, so that was good. They had been all over. I know normally you swap these kind of things, but I'm going to stick them in my card because I don't have anybody to swap with. <laughs> well, not at the moment anyway. Right. I think that's me. What do you think? They're pretty cool, aren't they? So, I've, yes, I thought I had skipped a page so that I could have done that this was moving not oh, well it's kind of obvious that it's moved on from playing cards because you can tell that they're playing cards and you can tell that they're not <laughs> so that's me um so thanks very much for joining me today if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and i'll see you next time bye for now